What's up, y'all? Um, this is crazy. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. I get on, I'm on Ball's page, and I'm like, I don't even know what she was talking about, but she was saying this is why you can't tr trust your own people, blah blah blah. Um, because of envy and all of this other stuff, and I'm like, I instantly just off her message, I instantly because I instantly went to the shade room. So I'm gonna go to the shade room, I see take off did shot and killed in Houston last night with a couple hours ago it's only eight o'clock this morning this was at three some uh-uh don't start your shenanigan start don't you start yeah you better look away because she always want to start when I get on here but y'all and then they so of course I had to go on Twitter I mean it's not it's just sad but I really just wanted to come on here to get my you know my little two cent on the situation they got the literal video of him shot dead in the head, blood leaking everywhere. Quavo screaming, like, no, like, it's literally on Twitter. That's one thing about Twitter. Twitter is exclu expl explicit. That's why I really don't even be on there for real no more because it just be, it's the devil's playground for real. But you gonna find all the, all the deets on there. And that's what I wanted to read is the, the, um, what the girl said. Cause I guess she was there wherever they was because it looked like they was somewhere it looked like they on like a you know how at the mall on the walkways of a mall they have like a bridge on the like um on, you know how like on the outside they might have like a bridge it looked like that's where they're at like in the in that video it looked like they laying on a bridge yeah on a walkway outside of a mall what that said that house of let me see what's that house of what let's google that House of Blues or something. I don't know where is that. What is that in that background? Let's say House of. It looked like a event place they was at, but they must have been out there shooting dice. Um, because they say it was a, sh a dice game. And this is what I don't understand with dudes. This is my whole thing with the. Let me read this first to y'all, and then I'll talk my little two cent. It says, so Quavo was shooting dice. So Quavo was shooting dice and he was getting his pockets broke off bad. So dude had an attitude. So Quavo had an attitude. And he tried getting aggressive with the wrong mob. With the wrong mob ties, niggas. Knock on name, Nick, knock on name drop. And then, since and dude got on his ass, then somebody they was with jumped up. And that's when everybody bunched up. Then shots just started ringing. But they were coming from somebody Migos was with. He was shooting wild and hit takeoff on accident. And the other niggas started shooting back. And I think he got hit again. But ultimately, his own niggas killed him. Because when he when he got hit the first time, I seen his body just drop. Quavo was plexed up over some small shit. It really wasn't worth it. Takeoff was the coolest, quietest, and the quietest dude in the room. Whole time. Uh... He said, it said he wasn't saying a word, just chilling in the cut. He didn't even know what was going on. He just jumped up and got shot out of nowhere. Houston for show about to be a no-fly zone because mobs supposed to be protecting these artists. Wow. Dang. So if that's true and he ain't really even do nothing and he got mixed up in the crossfire just being just in the wrong place. And that's what I'm saying, like, I don't understand why these dudes make it out the hood and still do hood activities. Like, you got to really change your mindset. That's why it's, it don't matter about money. It don't matter about all that. The, the BS. It's your mind. If you don't change your mind, this is why they say you could take a girl out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the girl. Same with the dudes. You could take the niggas out the hood. You can move them up to the suburbs like they do. Move them up to the suburbs, but they still be on that same behavior because your mentality has to change. Your mindset has to change. You are well off. Why do you need to be be doing dice? You in a position now where you have plenty of money, plenty of money. You need to be investing in real estate. You shouldn't even have no desire to do that 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 street type stuff. That's what you do on the streets. You're not in the streets no more. Why are you still engaging in that type of activity? And I know he's really going to feel bad. This is that story that this girl just typed. Cause 
I guess somebody, um, this was a message or something that somebody who was there, must have been an event or something. Of course, of course Houston's a hot spot, but it's just sad to see him like that. Like he literally blood leaking all out his head, dead. They all trying to lift him. Like, what are y'all doing? He's dead. It's just sad to see him like that. He was the chill one, out the cut, out the way. He ain't really say too much, do too much. Like, and honestly, he was so fine to me. He was the only one who was like, offset kind of cute a little bit, just cause he chocolate. But it was something about take off with sweat. But um, nonetheless, it's sad. And then I know, I don't know if Offset and them cool again, cause I know Offset and them was beefing. They was all, they, they family. Um, Takeoff is Quavo's nephew. And then I think Offset is they cousin. Um, but I know Takeoff and Quavo is the, Quavo's sister is Takeoff mother or something like that, or his father, one of them. Cause that's the only way to be a nephew. But I do know that, um, but it's just sad. You know, and then it, for her to say that he wasn't even the one he he was out the standing out the way, just you know. At first, when I when I first saw it on him, I'm thinking I'm like, damn, they, especially because like boss I say be your own people, and they do be your own people. Nine times out of ten, when people die, it's people that they was rolling with. Nine times out of ten, it's somebody that you know. That's why at first I'm thinking, dang, was the offset set them up? Like, I was like. Did he set him up? Um, Cause I know they beefing right now, but it's like, and I don't, one thing about it, I don't put nothing past nobody. When it's beef, I don't care if you family or not, cause family be the one that smoke you. It all started back in Cain and Abel. Look what Cain did to Abel. So, it been going on. They, the hate, that's, that's all part of it though, you know? People be wanting, in this situation, people gonna be like, well, why God ain't stop this, that? This is the consequence of the things that Adam and Eve did. It's gonna be strife between relationships. It's going to be strife between brothers. It's, it, it's literally, this was what the consequence of not following direction was. And now we have to deal with this. This is why relationships and families are effed up. Why so much envy, jealousy, in the world, it been going on since the beginning of time. But you can't, I would just, for me, I always say that I, as a, as a woman, as a woman, I don't even just trust girls like that. I don't, tr I don't, so I know if I was a, a guy, if I was a guy, I definitely know I would not be wrong. Like, it would be, I probably would have about one, two friends, if that. And even them be the ones that snake you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, I know I would roll by myself like I do now. Like, I don't trust people at all. Like, I have zero trust. I don't put nothing past nobody. Y'all see what I've been telling y'all about my own mama. I don't even trust her when it comes to money and stuff. And that's a sad way to feel like you can't trust your own, your own flesh and blood. You can't even trust them. But obviously they saying with somebody in the group not knowing how to shoot. Everybody fake shooters. You don't know how to shoot. You don't got no aim. No aim. And that's why y'all need to stop playing dice games. You already know how that turn out. You already know how that turn out. Why I keep putting yourself in the arms of danger? Like you put your, yourself in the in the fire. And now look at who got to deal with that. And he still do got to deal with it too. To hear him crying like that, that he was right there. Wow. I ain't gonna play the video or nothing. Cause uh, that's what it is. It just say crazy that I could just sit here and watch this stuff though, like. It's, it's nothing. It just goes to show that we are so numb to stuff. I'm so used to seeing chaos. So used to seeing BS that it's just like... And a lot of people on the media, it's just you numb to seeing that stuff. You know? And social media really does desensitize people. But even before, seeing... Because fights and got crazy, you know? I didn't see... 
fight that turn to blood. So it's just crazy. Um, but that's all I really wanted to say. That's my little take on it, but it's sad, man. Just that quick in a blink of an eye. He gonna put his hand in the blood like, what the fuck are you doing? Not Quavo, some other dude that they was with. I guess he was trying to feel for the wound. But it's like, how he the only one who got shot? I mean, I guess it's possible because them bullets get to flying anyway. But how he the one got shot twice? But the girl, the girl said, I don't know if it was a girl now. I always be someone else's girl. But, uh, could have been a dude. Because I think it says that they, it says, um, so Quavo was shooting, and it say, and dude got on his ass, then somebody they was with jumped up. Like, how you gonna get mad? Cause you getting, you getting your, you getting your money took. So y'all need to stop playing them games. Like, you better just go off to the casino and play some tables. Like, these dudes need to really, people need to really learn how to, that's why I be so big on learning this stuff of what, how to really do money like how to really monopolize your money in the best way so you don't have to do bs like this so you don't have to sell your soul on instagram so you don't have to this like everybody in a frenzy about the instagram glitch this is why you don't never put your you never put all your eggs in one basket people on there like people feed their family off of instagram you're supposed to use those as cash cows you milk what you can get out of it milk it and then you put that into real stabilized assets real businesses how you just letting instagram is an app if it go down today or tomorrow and like it's going to be it's going to go out it's going to go out it might not stay out for a long period of time but what's coming to america like i've been telling y'all it's some stuff that's getting ready to happen the power grid is getting ready to go down you're not going to even have access to get on a lot of this stuff so understand what's coming and if you really are in a position where you got a good amount of money do right with your money right now. like, And don't keep it in these banks. I've been telling y'all what's getting ready to happen with the banking system. Like, people don't believe it. People, A lot of people not even don't even care about stuff like that because they are so into this stuff, this social media, this, this rich person, fake lifestyle, this this and that, that they don't even understand what's going on around us. They don't understand that we get ready to go into a Great Depression. They don't even understand because they're not tapped in. They're not in tune. They're not focused on what really matters. They're not paying attention to all the signs. They're not paying attention to the housing market. They're not caring about these things. So they don't understand. They don't understand. They don't have a relationship with God. So they don't understand. My relationship with God is what told me what's about to happen for months. I've been telling y'all in that prophetic morning playlist what's about to happen. And I know I worked at the bank. I know what happens when people can't get the hold of their money. Everybody put their trust in these banks. You don't put no trust in them banks. First of all, they only federally insured up to 250000 That's it. So if you have more than $250,000 in that bank, they not gonna, uh, the insurance only may pay you back 250000 But it's going to take time for that to even, them claims and stuff to even go through. And the way this government is set up, they don't care about the people. They're not for the people. It's every man for himself. And y'all get ready to see. That's why I've been telling y'all stock up. I've been telling. I've been saying this stuff. There's plenty other farmers out here. They've been saying stuff. But people don't watch this type of stuff. They don't watch educational stuff. They don't watch stuff that ain't entertainment. Everybody be so pressed about entertainment that they don't see what's going on in the real world around them. And by not understanding the stuff that's really going on in the real world around you, you'll pay the price when it's time, when it, when it comes down to it. They're going to see People are really going to see everything that I've been talking about come 2023. It's already starting. The housing market, the stock market, everything that's going on right now, the war with Russia. I've been telling y'all, they get ready to come get us. They get ready. That submarine, that putting guy out here, he's getting ready to send that thing to spin the bin around America and going to cause a huge, major tsunami, major earthquake. This is, about to, this is God ordained, though. This stuff is God ordained. They don't even understand. People don't understand. But I'm not, this video wasn't even supposed to be about that. But it just wants to go, I got to it just by saying, 
they doing still doing street activity to get money, still doing anything to get money, still selling your soul to get money when you don't have to do that anymore. But when you know God, that's the only way you know that you don't have to do that stuff no more. Until you get your relationship with God, you don't really understand that. You think you, you everybody just chase and do anything to get money, anything to get money. Sell this, sell my body, sell my feet pics, sell this, sell this, do this, do that. Do that, do that, just to get money. And it's sad. It's really sad. And look at the result of it. You chasing that. He ain't even the one over there shooting. You the one just chilling over there. Just You just with them while they doing it. And now look, your life get lost, get taken. And Quavo's like, what the hell? It happened so fast. You can tell it just happened so fast. He was like, No. He was, he, he was down. He was over top of him. I ain't gonna show y'all the video. Y'all gotta go on Twitter to see that. But that's all I really wanted to say, y'all. Just pray for them. And if you are watching this and you in the streets, man, y'all gotta... It's, it's, a, it's another way. Like, people really... I hate that the black community only feel like the only way out for boys is rapping or being an athlete. That's not the only way. You got a gift in you. It's the reason you're still here. God put something in you. God put something in you. You don't have to do all of these things and stealing, killing, robbing, all of that. You don't have to do that. Nine times out of ten, those lifestyles, when you do these things, it leads to your demise. Same thing with my cousins. Before he got killed, he was a get ready to go, go the way to jail for robbing. Like, and they didn't even have to do those things. Like, but all for the love of money, for money, for for all, for having lack of resources. And for these people, this is what the rappers, what I don't understand with Lucci and Thug and all them, y'all get the, y'all got the way out. Y'all got to get out. And that's why I respect G Herbo. Because one thing about him, he said, they want you to be a crash dummy. He's, and, they, and they be calling me this and that because he ain't with that stuff no more. He got the way to get out. He got family. He was able to get out the hood. Why would I still keep entertaining the same BS? Why would I keep still want to spend blocks and stuff, doing stuff that we used to do? We robbing niggas back then and make money because we really ain't have nothing. We really had lack of resources. Now that I got resources, I got money. Why do I want to be doing that? That's crash dummy activity. Just like Lucci. Now look at you. Now when you come out, you ain't going to have nothing. Everything, you you wasted your time. You wasted all your, your time still being involved in BS when you could have just flipped your money the right way y'all have the access now to y'all are privy to getting financial advisors y'all are privy to getting getting real good deals or contractors and all this there's no reason why you're not owning your block y'all be so caring about the block nigga you could own the block people gonna be paying you every month just like all these other big corporations do everywhere we stay at black people don't own nothing that's why i just be irritated with us because we don't get it we don't get it we don't even see. It's like, that's why we have to change our mind. It starts here. Everything else will follow. It starts here. If this ain't right, if that brain ain't right, nothing else matters. Because just like people all the time, oh, if, I, if I win the lottery, this, that, and that. If you win the lottery, this you want to be like everybody else who win the lottery and go back broke if you don't change your mind. If you don't change your mind, when you come into your big blessing, you will fumble it every single time if your mindset is not changed. You have to know what to do with money. Money is a tool. It's not meant to be sat on. It's meant to be used. It's energy. It's supposed to flow and move. Like, we got to really change our mindsets. But until the next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Rest in peace, take off. This is a sad situation. You know, it's just sad. I'm tired of seeing this for our black man. It's already, we already have, we already have limited. Like, this is why, and then they talk about the girls, oh, you got to be careful with who you choose. It shouldn't be a small bucket of quality men to choose from. That's where the issue is in itself. Why is there such a small bucket of men to choose from? Out of all of our men, you got half of them in jail, half of them gay. Well, out of 100%, 25% might be in jail, 25% might be gay, 25% uneducated, 25% this. Like, we got to get education. We got to 
learn self-love and get with God. God plus the education, it's going to make, it's going to do numbers. It's going to do numbers. We be sitting here doing all the wrong things. We be sitting here just glorifying a bunch of BS. We be entertaining a bunch of BS, hating on each other. Hating on each other for what? What are you hating for? You can do it too if it's in your calling. First of all, stop trying to do what you see everybody else do. Figure out what's for you. And the only way you can know what you're truly here for is to get with God. That's literally the only way you want to know your purpose. God is the only one who can reveal to you what your purpose is. You don't have to try to copy what this person doing. Do it that way. Do it that way. You got your own way you do things. And that's what the real issue. They be wanting to make it seem like, oh, all this, all this with the dudes. Oh, no. Majority of these we got, especially in Atlanta and all these other places, D.C., Baltimore, all your major cities, majority of them dudes, shit, they all gang banging in the streets. <laughs> Some of them, majority of them be on the down low. It's just too much that's going on with our men. Too much. So the ones that are out here that don't have no record, that's not gay, that's a small percentage. Small percentage left. So it's all these women, 100% of women so 100% of the women only have that little 10% of the, the male population to try to find a good man in. And y'all wonder why it's a bunch of baby mama, single baby mama, and a bunch of pookies that the girl we saw, a bunch of pookies walking around. And why the, 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 the high value that they say, high value men, why they have that huge narcissistic ego. And that's another thing. The one nine times out of ten, the ones that's left with the money, they the ones got this narcissist ego. But a lot of mother dudes got narcissism too and don't got no dang old money. So they, they still narcissists. But it's just sad because it's too much going on. Like the black men, it's, it, we need some, that's why I be saying these males, the ones that's in position, they need to step up like the wallows. We need more wallows out here, ones who not trying to fit in. You don't care what people are saying about you. You not care about trying to impress everybody. You coming on here to spit real game, give real education to the young dudes under me. It can't just be wallow. It need to be a bunch of them. It's so many black lo lost young boys out here that don't even understand nothing. They don't understand their mindset. It's still, a lot of times they get success before it's so quick. And when you come into success so quick and it's new for you, if you finally get to have access to buy things you've never been able to buy before, it will it will make you just go crazy and spending it and doing this and doing that. They don't educate these boys. There's no reason why these dudes be in these labels. That's because it's a it's all it's all business. And they they whole goal is to take these dudes take these dudes money these rappers and stuff. There's no reason why if you gonna have a manager and all of this, why don't you have a financial advisor? Why don't you have somebody that's a good financial advisor to tell you how to manage your money, how to invest your money, so you don't have to be doing stupid street stuff like this no more. Do that stuff in your privacy of your own home. Get you, get you. <laughs> if you want to do dice games, and, and that's just something you like. You at the at the end of the day, it ain't even a fact of do that in a, in a household with just your friends and family that you know. Because anybody will turn to the ops when money is involved. Anybody. You need to play that imaginary game you by yourself. Get you some dolls, set them up, and you play imaginary crap games. If that's an addiction or something for you, you need to play imaginary crap games and do that stuff right by yourself and act like you playing with some people. Because it's, it's too dangerous. And look how many dudes have died by dice games. Look how many dudes die by dice games. Or at least get shot because of a dice game. So, and the fact that Takeoff wasn't even even playing, that's even sadder. Because I'm like, how he, he got, obviously he got killed right where he was. They must have ran over there. Because ain't nobody else. That's how you know he probably was ducked off staying to himself. It's sad. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.